today is going to be a very long day. I don't know if you can see how steep these roads are. Bloody, bloody steep. Nowhere I can cycle up here. It was all between 10 and 25% on the map. But every road adjacent to this one is the same. Oh, not sure how well you'll be able to see the steepness. We've only been going for two minutes. I just passed a really nice man in the car and he stopped to have a little chat with me. He said his son is also traveling and he's uh, at the moment in Iran, but it's really hot there, 33 degrees. I like it when people stop and talk. You're getting a lot more of that in uh, these parts of Europe. Well, it's not getting any less steep. Well, it is, but not flat at least anyway. last sort of 20 30 minutes has been up a track ranging between 10 and 20 percent i've had to be pushing my bike up it's ridiculously steep that bit there is very flat relatively um i have just um got a bottle of water from this rather sad looking stream probably not very clean but i don't really mind so um it's water nonetheless mm. Lots of bugs and algae. Just the um, nutrients I need. <sighs> this bit's about 20, 25%. Oh, God. Hello, that is the view. I have climbed a thousand meters in two hours of cycling and about two and a half hours of elapsed time. My average speed is seven kilometers an hour. For reference, I'm going. 15 kilometers an hour now. It's just been all like 10 to 20 percent. It's ridiculous. I mean, I knew it was going to be like that, but I didn't know it would be that tough. For the first time, we have a little downhill. update time. I have cycled 32k in 3 hours 44 minutes and I have climbed 1,666 meters so that's quite a lot if you think um, Snowden is about a thousand meters or something. Uh, my elevation is about the same as well. I am going to try and find somewhere to sleep for the night. I'm near the top maybe another 5k or a bit less than that to the very top and it plateaus a little bit it's looking like it might rain and in fact I can probably guarantee that it will 100% rain around 5 or 6 o'clock just because it always does in, in this sort of altitude in these countries. I have a little treat for dinner which I bought at a cafe earlier so I'm looking forward to that. I have just filled up my three water bottles at a conveniently located water fountain. Okay, see you in a bit. First real sight of the Dolomites. Lovely. Get the sign out of the way. Just stopped off in here for a certain reason. 
But um, there is a uh, very nice hand dryer, sort of um, hair dryer thing. I sort of washed my face a little bit, and then I've gone back in there to put some stuff in the bin, and it's like a sauna in there because I was using it for so long. <laughs> Probably just rinse them a hundred pounds for, for electricity. <laughs> oh well. It is very touristy up here. So touristy. Really sure there are camels up there. Camels. Hello, I have arrived here. I came off the main road and went up a private track going past a house, so I hope they didn't see me. I then, after about 100 or 200 metres, took a right turn. It's kind of like a footpath, sort of, but it doesn't look like it's really being used. And just in this sort of foresty, grassy area. So I'm hoping this is a good spot. It's not the best, but... Um, I think it's right. I'll put my tent up around here. I just have to avoid the poo and the roots. And I got got a hook for my coat. It did start raining a little bit earlier. Hence the coat and the overshoes. Okay, I'll set up here. For dinner, we have pasta. And I'm gonna do have it with some lovely cheese and reindeer salami. This was three euros 85. And this was um, two euros ninety. I was planning on finding a shop to get some, you know, standard tomato sauce or something, but a nice cheesy pastel salami will suffice. So, looking forward to eating this. Let's get it ready. I might have already mentioned this, but I went to a cafe about halfway through the trip, and in there, that's where they had the salami and cheese. There wasn't any shops open because it's a Saturday and obviously you don't have shops open on a Saturday or Sunday or Monday apparently in Europe um, so that is why I've got this stuff oh look at that didn't use any oil because I'm rendering the fat from the salami that's gonna taste good it smells delicious pasta's cooked in there Got some cheese. This is absolutely delicious cheese. I'm gonna have the rest tomorrow. I will eat all of the salami tonight, but I'll save that cheese for tomorrow. Excited. Okay, here we have some cheesy, meaty pasta. The salami is incredible. It's so crispy. Mmm. That's really nice. It's really good. That's incredible. I might feel a bit sick after eating all of this. There's a lot of cheese and meat in there, but... I'm sorry, Marius, but... This may be slightly better than your meal last night. Mmm. That was good. All that's missing is some vegetables on the side. Tents up. But it's a bit rooty and a little bit on a slope. <laughs> but I'm sure I'll sleep just fine. <laughs> right, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed. Can two of you leave a comment? It doesn't have to be anything in particular, but if we can smash two comments, that would be insane. I love looking at comments. It um cheers me up and also new subscribers i've had quite a few recently so thank you very much for subscribing if you are new cool see ya